Hey guys, GC here with Vendetta Waterfowl, and this is Spec Call Basics, Episode 7. So last week we talked about taking those refined yodels and putting them into a note string, as well as the kickback cluck sequence. Today we're going to be taking those yodels and shifting them into a lower end of the scale, as well as adding a little bit of accent to the beginning of them, and finish out the episode with the cluck string heel again. But first let's recap last week's episode real quick. So with the note strings, we learned that we were just taking that sustained air, just how I am when I'm talking right now, just one breath, squeezing with my diaphragm and using the air as I need it, and taking those refined yodels and putting them into a string. So instead of one individual note and another individual note, they just kind of strung together. So it sounds like this. still have a break in it as you're practicing it but the most important thing is not taking a breath and starting that next note as soon as the first one ends but take your time and practice that we also talked about the kickback clucks which is just a cluck sequence I like to use on a sustained air run so it sounds like this <laughs> it's just a uck uck single cluck two single clucks higher than the single cluck before them. That's all that matters. They don't have to be extremely high, they just need to be higher than the one before it, followed by another single cluck. Now we'll get into transitioning into other things with that string heel at the end of this episode. But let's talk about the low end shift. So shifting those yodels into a lower end is really very simple. The main thing is you want to cup your hand over the end of it to help you keep that back pressure up because we're gonna decrease the volume of air that we're putting into the call. So what you've learned, what I've taught you so far has been a mid-range kind of use of the air, just a basic um, range of air volume that we're putting into the call. Now we wanna reduce that to a lower volume. We still want the call to break over. We just wanna use less air to make that note and that's gonna give you a lower end sound. So. I'm gonna do the mid-level first that we've already practiced, followed by a low end. I just dropped the amount of air. So I went from to still breaking the call over. And like I said, I have my hand cupped over the end. This hand never moves, just like we talked in episode one. This hand's not gonna move, but this hand I'm gonna cup over the end and just barely put air into it. just barely putting any air into that call with that low end shift. Now, if I wanna increase it, I can. If I wanna decrease it, I can. And it works for the three note and it works for the ugga ugg as well. So with the ugga ugg. <laughs> it works either way you wanna do it. And it works for the three note and the two note. And there's, I mean, you have a high and you have a low and then you have everything in between that. We're gonna cover that next week when we talk about yodel scales, but practice bringing that air down. Just practice it without the call or practice it into the back of the call. So with the regular and then with that low end, you can really hear it. Just go back and forth, back and forth. And you can practice that pick it up and put it down drill to keep your hands going and just hit a high, hit a low and put it down or hit a low and put it down. Just practice shifting down into a lower volume of air. Now, with adding that little bit of accent we talked about earlier, we're just gonna put a little bit of hot air into the beginning of the note. What I mean by that is with that murmur, remember we learned that that, that buzz, I don't wanna put that much, I just wanna put a little bit. It's just a little bit with that push. And that's gonna give you a hair of accent to get that out of the call. You don't wanna rev it. That's a sound in its own we'll get into later, but for the sake of this accent being on the beginning, and what I mean is, you'll hear it as You hear it just 
this at the beginning. <laughs> it's just a little bit of, of vibration as you push that air. <laughs> if you're sitting next to a guy in the blind or you're standing next to the stage during a contest, you'll hear this sound coming from somebody as they're calling. And that's just a little bit of, of that <laughs> as you're making that note to give that little accent to the beginning of it. So let's talk about the cluck string heel now. Now we've covered the low end shift. Let's get into the cluck string heel and start putting this all together. So I've added a lot to it. I'm going to put it up on the screen. As you can see, we've got a, a little change to the beginning of it, but the back end is still kind of staying the same, but we've added our kickback clucks in. So we're going to start with that three note. That three note is actually a drag note. Okay. And that's why it has a D next to it. It's a three note drag. And then we're gonna go into the two note, which it's a still above the line. So that means it's that mid high level yodel. And then when you see it below the line, that's gonna be your low end. So it's gonna be a three note drag followed by a two note and then a two note on the low end. Okay, and then we have a three piece note string. Now I've laid it out as a two, three, two. You can, whatever you've been practicing with that note string, just take three or it could be four or it could be five as long as you're comfortable with it it could be anything that you want it to be but i just put it in there as reference i don't want you to get into a big long string and we're not going to shift into anything below that at this time we're just going to transition into clucks and then when we go into those single clucks as we work our way up we'll throw in that three note like we always do and then get to the top of the double clucks into the murmurs followed by the kickback clucks single clucks ugg uggs it sounds like a lot but when you put it all together, it's only about 10 seconds worth. It's really not that much. You'll have to, it'll take some time for you to practice it and get in the motion of doing it. But once you get it down, it's going to come second nature to you. And this is your introduction to basically painting that picture and running that routine style heel where you're working birds, bringing them in and then finishing them out. It's a real basic start to that. So I'm going to put it back up on the screen as I run it. Like I said, that note string hill can be whatever you want it to be. Just don't get into it too much or you're going to run out of air. Like I said, I want you to try to do this on as much air as you can. So here we go. This is going to start with the three note drag. kind of let the double clucks ride and then I went into murmurs and threw some more double clucks behind it. You can do that. We've worked on transitioning back and forth enough. You can, if you feel comfortable bouncing between singles and doubles, do it. But if you don't, do it as it's read. Come up, go down, transition out of murmurs into some more single clucks and then throw those kickback clucks in. And you can really see this time how that kickback cluck helps me transition and ride that momentum out. So, Practice this. If you don't feel comfortable adding the accent to your notes, don't do it yet. Practice the low end shift. If you don't feel comfortable doing the cluck string heel, go back and run some of the more basic ones first. Work on it piece by piece, then start putting it together. But I wanted you to have this tool to be able to continue practicing and, and getting better on your tempos if you're ready for it. So next week, we're going to talk about taking these yodels and, and what is the actual scale on them. You have the high and you have the low. We know that. But what comes in between that? And I'm talking about both volume and speed. And you're going to notice that it's going to open up so many different sounds just from the speed and the volume that you put them out. You'll have 30 or 40 different yodels that you can put together. We're also going to talk about the use of these sounds. We're going to start with the yodels and just kind of the use. Now, there's no book on this is how you call a speckle belly, but I can kind of give you my viewpoint on how this thing works. It's a lot of communication and it's a lot of situational things, but there is some basic knowledge that you can run off of when it comes to working the specs this season. So I hope this helps everybody. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment, shoot us an email, message, let us know what we can add in these future episodes we have coming up. If there's any questions you have about a certain thing, we can work with you like that. Just leave us a comment. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like and subscribe to this video. As always, I'm GC with Vendetta Waterfowl. Get mean and get even. It's my